everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about set theory, especially about interval notation. So I have um, interval notation written out, and today we're going to be learning how to graph um, set builder notation. And this is a set builder notation, as you can see here. Um, the first part of the set builder notation is your curly brackets. And some people um, draw brackets in a different way, but I like to draw it simple, like this. So two brackets, and then we have the x right here. x, this bar line, is um, means such that, so... This line basically means such that. So x such that x is an element of integers. Z means integer. So and this e looking figure is basically means element. So x such that x is an element of integers. And this upside down v is an and symbol. So I've written it all here. We have z is an integer, this upside down v is an and, this e looking figure is an element, and then this line is a um, such that. So x such that x is an element of integers and x is greater than or e equal to negative 3 and x is less than 2. And then the bracket. So this um, mathematicians don't really like to put things in words like in long sentences. So we just made up a little code for um, that's called set builder notation. Now, so um, we're asked to graph this in on the number line, and we're also asked to put this in interval notation. So. If we virtually um, took this set builder notation apart and we just um, put it into um, the form that a lot of people who do math know, we can put it like this. So this basic, this whole line basically means x is greater than or equal to negative 3 and x is less than 2 and x is an integer. Okay, so if we were to put this on the number line, we would say first, we put little marks on the number line symbolizing so 0, 1, 2, 3 and then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the first thing we need to look at is x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So when we um, graph greater than or equal to, we draw a filled in circle. So here on the number line, we would say, um, we would, fill in a circle right above the negative 3, and then x is less than 2. So we would have a not filled in circle right there. Um, but there's something wrong with this graph. If you don't know, I'll tell you. Basically, it's that x is an integer. x is not a real number. If x had been a real number, I would have just drawn these two points Then I would have connected these two points, like so. But x is not a real number. It's only an integer. And an integer is a smaller set of real numbers. So we can't draw this whole line in between. We need to pinpoint little um, points of numbers in the number line. So we just have to draw another one if you encountered a situation like this. So here, 
um, we have another number line and basically we would need to um, put a circle on top of negative 3 because it can be equal to negative 3 this would be our finished graph because if you can see here we have x is greater than or equal to negative 3, x is equal to negative 3, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to a 0, and x is equal to 1. We cannot say x is equal to 2 because it says x is less than 2 right here. This would be our graph for this um, set builder notation. Now let's um, write this in interval notation. Okay, so to write this set builder notation and interval notation, we basically need to know two forms. So, um, as I said, there are basically two um, main, three main points of this set builder notation. It's basically x is greater than or equal to negative 3, x is less than 2, and x is an integer. So to put that in interval notation, first we take into fact that x is greater than or equal to negative 3. When we're saying greater than or equal to in interval notation, we say we use these um, block brackets, as I call them. They, um, they're just lines, and they look like little blocks and so we use this um, to say when something's great um, greater than or equal to or less than or equal to so we put negative 3 right there to show that X is greater than or equal to negative 3 then we put a comma and then we say we take into point that X is less than 2 so we say We say this. You use a parentheses to say either less than or greater than, and then we put two here. This would be our finished interval notation. Thank you for joining me today, and please comment or like this video. We're talking to her,